Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, 2016 question, and it's only part of a question. Prove by induction that 8 to the power of n minus 1 is divisible by 7 for all n is an element of n. So this is the second type of proof by inductions, the first being some of the series, the third being inequalities. So this is a divisibility one. Okay, the steps are the exact same that we've been doing in all of the rest. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is, is um, show that um, n is equal to 1 holds true. So P of n is equal to 8 to the power of n minus 1. That's our statement. Um, and I'm going to show true for um, n equal to 1. Okay, so 8 to the power of n minus 1 becomes 8 to the power of 1 minus 1. 8 to the power of 1, which is 8, minus 1, which is 7. Um, so therefore, 7 is divisible by 7. So the case n is equal to 1 holds true. Okay, I'm going to assume true for the case where n is equal to k, which is just some random, um, which is random number k. So my statement then becomes 8 to the power of k minus 1. Okay, and what I want to say is that that's divisible by 7. So I'm going to say that is equal to 7m. Um, and m is just a letter I made up where m is a multiple of 7. Okay, so in other words, if 7 divides into this, then my answer is going to be a multiple of 7. 7, 14, 21, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Um, So rather than a multiple, I just say where m is where m is a whole number, basically. Um, I'm going to prove true then for n is equal to k plus one. Okay, so I would like then to prove that eight to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 holds true. Okay, so using the rules of indices here quite a bit, um, this one in this case, so I have 8 to the power of k plus 1. So I'm going to break it down using this rule here. Okay, so I can write this one as 8 to the power of k by 8 to the power of 1 minus 1. Okay, and where am I? I'm going to come back up here for a minute because I'm going to write him as 8k is then equal to 7m plus 1. Okay, all I did was bring that minus 1 over the other side and write him as 7m plus 1. And the reason I did that is I want to be able to sub in for 8 to the power of k. Okay, so I'm going to take the 7m plus 1 and I'm going to sub them in here. Okay, so 8 to the power of 1 is 8. I'm going to bring that to the front, but instead of 8 to the power of k, I'm going to put in 7, 1 plus 1 minus 1. Okay, um, let me bring him up here. So 8 7s, 56m. 8 by 1 is 8. And then I have minus one. So I have 56 um, plus seven on that left hand side. Factor out the seven because I want to show that it's divisible by seven. So I get seven, eight, sorry, I get eight m um, plus one there. Okay, therefore, that's divisible by seven. Therefore, 
P of K plus one holds true. Assuming P of K is true. Okay, so the same conclusion we have all along. Okay, um, P of one was also true. Therefore, P of N holds true for all N is a natural number. Okay, so just to summarize what happened in this one. Okay, um, so all was good down to N is equal to K. We just subbed in K for N and then the minus one, and we let it equal to this uh, 7m, where m is just a random letter. It could be a, it could be b, it could be x, it could be anything you want. But m basically is um, means that there'll be a whole number there when you divide in seven. In other words, it's divisible by seven. Okay, and then because I wanted to have an expression for a to the power of k, I just brought the minus one over. Okay. Um, and then we went on to prove true for n is equal to k plus one. So we just put in the k plus one as normal. We broke this up using the rules of indices so that we could isolate a to the power of k. Because remember in proof by induction, we are always using the expression that we developed for uh, n is equal to k. So we used, we subbed in for a to the power of k then and then we just multiplied it out and factored out seven, okay? Because if you can factor out seven by it, then this whole number is divisible by seven, okay? No matter what that expression is, it's divisible by seven. Okay, so that's how you do the divisibility ones. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.